And all eyes are on the tropics, ladies and gentlemen, as we are looking at a very significant hurricane down here in the Western Caribbean that will continue up toward the northwest. And this could become an even stronger hurricane as it gets closer to the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. So folks down there are going to be watching this very closely. It'll eventually work off into the Gulf of Mexico, but winds are at 130 miles per hour sustained with higher gusts moving towards the Yucatan. And the main track right now looks like it's going to be east of Texas, but we could see some residual effects around here with some clouds, maybe an isolated shower storm as we head toward the end of the week. Speaking of that, let's take a look at our future track showing you that Delta will continue to work its cloud cover a little closer to the area as we head into Wednesday. So we'll call it mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Then I think those clouds continue to increase as we make our way into Thursday going into Friday morning and showers get closer to the area, especially down toward Bryan College Station and into the Gulf of Mexico. We may see at least about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain as we head into Friday especially along and east of I-35. Western areas probably not seeing much as the main track should stay to the east of us. So we will put at least a slight chance of rain in on Friday at 20% and then another chance of some at least a few thunderstorms around here as we head into early next week with a cold front moving into the region. But for tonight, temperatures will dip down into the upper 50s and lower 60s, very similar to where we were last night. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, highs will make it up into the mid to upper 80s of very warm day for your Wednesday here across the region and taking a look at your first alert 10 day forecast 87 on Wednesday 85 Thursday with more clouds around and an isolated storm threat Friday 82 degrees for a high with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then as we make our way into the weekend, it's going to get quite warm, especially Sunday with summer like conditions before cooling off a little bit next week. Thanks for watching First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines with a look at your 10 day forecast. It is going to be warm on Wednesday. How about 87 for a high, which is a little above normal for this time of year. We're supposed to be right around 84, 85 on Thursday. So it comes back closer to normal and then down to the lower 80s on Friday. And this will all be dependent on the track of Delta. But right now it looks like most of it will be well to our east, but we could see some outer bands, maybe an isolated thunderstorm threat, especially east of I-35 with highs into the lower 80s. We get into to the weekend and it really heats up as Delta moves away. 88 on Saturday, 93 Sunday. Now the record high is 97 degrees Sunday. I think we stay shy of that as of now, but it's going to be a hot day on Sunday, especially for October standards. Then a front gets closer to us with highs near 90 on Monday as winds shift around to the west, maybe an isolated storm or two. And then we're looking at some pretty decent conditions as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week and high temperatures will be back into the 80s. Maybe. Five, six, and KR. None of my eagle eyes work. This is frustrating. All right. Five o'clock, three, two, one.